So first, let's clear up the difference between effusion and diffusion. Effusion is where gas escapes through a small hole. And diffusion is where gas will fill a volume, such as a lift, normally from high to low concentration, until the concentration is the same. So the IB want you to be able to derive Graham's law from kinetic theory. So two gases of mass A, velocity A, and mass B, velocity B. It could be molar mass if you want. And kinetic theory says that if they're at the same temperature, then on average, they'll have the same kinetic energy. So kinetic energy, half mv squared, half mv squared, a on the left and B on the right, those have to be the same if the temperature is the same. Cancel the halves and do a little cheeky rearranging. Putting the mass on one side and the velocity on the other. Now I need to get rid of those squares. So I'm going to end up square rooting the mass side. And there we go. That's Graham's law. God, if I knew that a hundred or so years ago, we call Thornley's law. That seems so easy. So as the mass of a molecule goes up, the rate of, well, he says effusion, but it seems to apply equally to diffusion, goes down. Heavier gases move slower. Faster gases are going to be the lighter ones. The typical example is uranium hexafluoride. Now notice the isotopes have different mass for the uranium. And you probably want the uranium-235. That's good for power stations and nuclear bombs. And so they effuse and diffuse at different rates. The lighter one moves faster. So here's the question. Which gas has a higher rate of effusion? Methane or hydrogen sulfide? <clears throat> Both of which come out of your bottom. The equation is from the data booklet and is provided. And I'm just going to call the first one one, the second one two. doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as you're consistent. Putting in the molar mass for hydrogen sulfide and then the molar mass for methane. Trying to keep the sig figs that the IB provides in the data booklet. And that gives me the square root of 34.09 over 16.05, which gives me 1.46, three sig figs. So what does that mean? Well, I'm going to put 1.46 divided by 1, still the same number. Ah, So the rate of 1 is 1 1.46 times the rate of 2. Uh, what do we mean by rate? Well, it, I don't think they're going to ask too much about that, but for every 1 meter hydrogen sulfide goes, methane will go 1.46 meters in the same time. Let's try another question, but uh, backwards this time. Gas 1 effuses at a rate three times that of gas 2. If gas 2 is water vapor, suggest an identity for gas 1. So let me write the equation out. Rate 1, rate 2 over the square root. Notice how the 1s and 2s are upside down on each side. So if it's three times that of gas 2, it's going to be 3 over 1. And if gas 2 is water vapor, well, that's 18, isn't it? Hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen. And that leaves me to solve for gas 1. Well, those numbers are nice. So that gives me 9 is 18 over the molar mass of gas 1. Well, that's going to be two grams per mole. So what gas is that going to be? Well, uh, probably H2, isn't it? Can't think of any other one. Smashing. And we're done.